Our project is called um, the Univers Virtual University of Geoblogging Project, and it emerged out of um, collaboration, his work in technoculture studies, and my work on space and spatial analysis. One of the primary premises was to figure out a way to incorporate uh, geoblogging, um, which is essentially using uh, geolocation technologies to locate multimedia, stuff like digital images, digital video, sound, um, onto a map for the purposes of actually instructing English. Um, you know, somewhat peculiar, but actually it fits rather nicely into the outcomes that we expect uh, students to learn. We became particularly interested in this notion of geolocation because a lot, um, if perhaps if you've noticed, a lot of the uh, curricula uh, that comes out of the expository writing program in the English department is based on situation or contextualization or location. Um, we thought, well, what better way than to use this kind of paradigm of longitude and latitude to very, be, very much literalize the notion of location. Yeah. So you're in the class, you pull out your, your cell phone, you snap a picture, you, well, most time, in a lot of cases, what we did was we uh, actually emailed the photo to the blog from a phone, yeah. which uh, contains the symbol. In a lot of cases, it contains the geotagging information. Mm -hmm. And um, it goes right up. And I had the opportunity last summer to mobilize it in a classroom. Um, and in that classroom, um, students generated a um, map um, where they basically went out and, uh, and were responsible for, lack of a better word, different sectors of the campus and documented the kind of everyday practices in those sectors. Um, so what was really interesting is the students were, for the most part, responsible for developing the course material. We quote unquote read very little. The map became the main source, the emerging source of conversation, and again, you know, these reading and writing practices. But the hub became, I think, a really interesting space um, for documenting everyday practices for obvious reasons. But primarily because there's just it's so dynamic, it's so ephemeral. People are going in and out of it. You know, some gentleman had set up, uh, who was representing a certain church of some kind, set up a whiteboard where he asked the question, "How does the experience, how does experience tell you if God exists?" And one of the things about doing something like that in public is it becomes very vulnerable. You'll see if you look at this picture, somebody's answered orgasm. Um, I'm sure that that's not the answer that he anticipated or wanted. But there's a certain type of vulnerability um, that happens when you set these things up in public spaces. So and capturing some of that vulnerability is, I think, one of the things you can do with this, with and this project. The coolest one I'd have to say was the one that really caught my attention was the student who captured the conversations in, um, in Lander. And he's holding the mic and he says, well, I have, um, I'm doing this for an English class. And he kind of quickly explains the mapping idea. And the response is, graduate students are weird. <laughs>